A reminder to all that pre-K through sixth grade students are scheduled to be virtual until December 4th. Seventh grade through 12th grades are scheduled for virtual only until December 18th. Although students are not currently in our buildings, we still want to monitor the number of COVID-related cases that are happening within our school community to the best of our ability. We have created an online form that we ask you to fill out if your child has received a positive COVID-19 test result or has been notified as being a close contact of someone who has tested positive for COVID-19. Once you submit the questionnaire, a staff member will contact you to gather additional details. We understand that this information represents good faith reporting by our families and that there will be inherent limitations to it. However, it will also be used to support, to the greatest extent possible, informed decision making by the Board of School Trustees. If you're looking for a way to help those affected by COVID, a blood drive has been organized by the Hamilton Southeastern Education Association in honor of one of our own teachers, Neil Wagner, who is currently fighting this virus. Make an appointment to donate blood, or if you have been approved, donate much needed convalescent plasma on Friday, November 27th from nine until three. The event is taking place inside Hamilton Southeastern High School's new auxiliary gym. We've posted all the details on hscschools.org. We were just informed that beginning Monday, November 23rd, a second COVID-19 testing site dedicated to prioritizing testing for school-related exposures for Hamilton Southeastern schools and private schools in Fishers will open at 8933 Technology Drive. Appointments can be scheduled beginning Monday, November 23rd by going to the Fishers Health Department website. This is yet one more effort by the City of Fishers and the Fishers Health Department to address current and emerging school needs arising from the COVID pandemic. In a more routine announcement, we're hosting a holiday light recycling drive. Starting November 30th until December 17th, you can bring in your unwanted broken, tangled, or unusable lights to central office or one of our many schools. There will be collection bins placed in the building's vestibules for a contactless and easy drop off. We appreciate your taking time during this global pandemic and hectic year to brighten our future by recycling unwanted and unusable lights. Today is the conclusion of American Education Week. We celebrate not only the services of our teachers and staff, but also the commitment of parents and the local citizens throughout the country to provide an institution designed to provide the wherewithal for students of all capabilities, backgrounds and interests to prepare for their futures. Like most other institutions during this COVID pandemic, public education has had to flex and pivot to meet the challenges that have come its way. HSC has faced similar challenges and continues to flex as we have seen this week. As 2020 began, digital conferencing and synchronous instruction were terms rarely used in teachers' lesson planning. Today they're commonplace, but they required an enormous effort by our teachers. And as a staff, they are still learning, still incorporating best practices into their daily instruction. In the past, American Education Week was celebrated with open houses and programs where students and teachers could share with parents a glimpse of artifacts of learning. Through technology, that glimpse can take place in real time almost every day. In a virtual setting, like many other national observances, American Education Week has taken on a new form, but we still celebrate the dedication of professionals to the educational needs of their students. And as a superintendent, I commend them all. Finally, as this is the last video update before Thanksgiving break, I wish to remind our students that Monday and Tuesday next week are regular virtual attendance days. Don't start the break early. Despite that reminder, I wish all a happy Thanksgiving and a restful break.